Hey, welcome back. Let's try this sample problem. This is a single unit uh, crystallization problem without a chemical reaction. Uh, this is just a simple material balance problem, but let's see if we can get some techniques on how to perform material balances for crystallizers. A solution made of 1,000 kilograms of sodium sulfate and 5,000 kilograms of water was initially at 350 Kelvin. If it is cooled down to 283 Kelvin, sodium sulfate decahydrate crystallizes out of the solution. Determine the percent yield of the crystallization process if the obtained decahydrate crystals are free from adhering mother liquor solution. You're given the solubility of the salts at 283 Kelvin as 9 grams of sodium sulfate, the anhydrous salt, per 100 grams of water. Let's draw our diagram for this one. So this is a crystallization process. Of course, our unit is a crystallizer. Let me draw that here. For a crystallizer, we have a feed. Your feed is usually a saturated solution, or if it's not a saturated solution, it's a solution with a significant amount of the salt dissolved in it, right? And then we have two product streams. The first product stream here is your crystal, is your crystal product. And the second product stream here is the remainder liquid after the crystallization. We call that the mother liquor. So I label this as the feed, the crystal, and the mother liquor. This is my crystallizer. According to the problem, we have 1,000 kilograms of sodium sulfate here in the feed. And 5,000 kilograms of water. It's initially at 350 Kelvin, although for these types of material balances, we, uh, we can neglect the, the temperatures because what we just need from the temperatures are the solubility data. And we already have the solubility data on the product side the, that is at 283 Kelvin. Okay. In your mother liquor, you are supposed to have your saturated solution at the lower temperature because we typically cool the solution down to crystallize out the salt. So your mother liquor is the one at 283 Kelvin. The solubility here, I'm going to take note, is 9 grams of sodium sulfate per 100 grams of water. And another important information that we got from the problem is that in your crystal product, you are supposed to get the decahydrate, that is sodium sulfate, with adhering 10 molecules of water. But uh, take note of the, of the last sentence here. Your decahydrate crystals are free from adhering mother liquor solution. That means that you can consider the crystal product as dry, but it's not dry in the sense that there's no water. There is still water in your in your crystal product, but that is in the form of a uh, of of a hydrated molecule. Okay, so that is sodium sulfate decahydrate. Our goal here is to simplify all of these different expressions of concentration into a unified simple uh, into a unified expression such as percent by mass or percent by weight, and then we can per perform the material balances. Let's start with the simplest one with the feed. In the feed, you are already given the masses of the sodium of the salt, sodium sulfate, and of water. So a simple calculation would already give us the mass fractions of the salt. I'm going to call mass fractions here as W. So in my diagram, W sub F is the mass fraction of the salts in the feed. That is simply 1,000 divided by the total, which is 1,000 plus 5,000. Sorry. Your numerator here is the mass of the salt, sodium sulfate, and your denominator here is the total mass of the solution, which is the mass of the salts plus the mass of the solvent, which is water. My, mass, my salt mass fraction here is 0 0.1667. And it would also follow that 1 minus W sub F is the mass fraction of the solvent, which is water, right? So we simply subtract this from 1. And what you will get here is the mass fraction of water.
That's 0 0.8333. We're done with the feed, right? We have already converted the composition to mass fractions. Let's go to the crystal product first. For the crystal product, let's perform a side calculation here. Your substance is sodium sulfate decahydrate. If you want to get the mass fraction of the salt, it's simply a ratio of the molecular weights of sodium sulfate and of the hydrated form. The mass fraction of the salt in the crystal product is equal to the molecular weight of pure sodium sulfate. This is the anhydrous form. And you divide that with the molecular weight of the hydrated form, that is sodium sulfate decahydrate. Sorry. 10H2O. The molecular weight of anhydrous sodium sulfate is around 142 grams per mole. And for dehydrated form, we simply add the molecular weight of the anhydrous form plus 10 molecules of water. So we can calculate that as 142 for the anhydrous plus 10 times 18. 18 is the molecular weight of 1 water molecule. This is 322 grams per mole. Solve this ratio, you can now get the mass fraction of the salts in the crystal product. So that is 142 over 322. That is 0 0.4410. That's for the salts. 1 minus W sub T is the mass fraction of water in the crystal product. So simply subtract this ratio from 1. You get that for water. That's 0 0.559. Okay. I can write that here in the crystal side. W sub C is 0 0.4410. And the balance is just water. We're done with the feed and the crystal streams. Last one is the mother liquor stream. Let's perform a separate calculation here at the mother liquor. Now, in the mother liquor, typically this would be a saturated solution at a lower temperature and this is a very common expression of solubility. And if you are given this expression of solubility, you can easily determine the mass fractions by setting a mini basis of the denominator of that ratio. So, again, remember that the mini basis only applies for this side of the calculation. It's only for the mother liquor side. I'm going to set the mini basis as the denominator, which is 100 grams of water. That means I have an equivalent 9 grams of sodium sulfate if your basis is 100 grams of water, right? Because this is a ratio. And using this, you can already determine the mass fraction of the salt in the mother liquor as the mass of the salt, which is 9 grams, divided by the total mass of the mixture. The mixture consists of the salts and water, so that is simply 9 plus 100 grams for your denominator. You can calculate that now as 9 over 109. That's 0 0.0826. That's the mass fraction of salts in the mother liquor. And of course, the balance of that is the mass fraction of water. Go back to your calculator and then just subtract this from 1. That's 0 0.9174. I can now go back to my diagram. So I can now say that in my mother liquor, these are the mass fractions or this is the composition. Mass fraction of the salt is 0 0.0826 and then the balance is water. Once you have simplified your diagram to this form in which you are able to obtain the mass fraction of the components for all of the streams, you are now ready to perform the material balances. Let's do that. Uh, remember what, what we are looking for? We want to determine the percent yield of the crystallization process. Uh, when we talk about percent yield, 
we are talking about how much of the desired product were, were, were we able to get for a given amount of feed. Now, it's clear in this problem that our desired product is sodium sulfate because uh, that's the reason why we are crystallizing it, it out of the solution, right? So, my desired product is sodium sulfate, but take note that your crystal product is not pure sodium sulfate. It's only around 44% sodium sulfate. So, that would be a factor in our calculations. So, I'm going to set right now our formula for the percent recovery. The percent recovery is simply, on the numerator you write, the amount that you're able to recover, that is, the amount of sodium sulfate in the crystal product, I can write that as W sub C multiplied by C. I'm simply multiplying the mass fraction of the crystal products to the mass of the crystal products. And divide that with what was initially uh, given to the process or how much sodium sulfate was initially provided in the process that is 1000 kilograms coming from the feed right so all we need to do now is to solve for the value of w sub c and c oh, sorry we just have to solve for the value of c because we already know the value of wc or the mass fraction of sodium sulfate in the crystal product and we can get this from the material balances let's do the overall material balance that will be your in sorry that the your omb will be your inlet which is f that's equal to your outlets mother liquor plus crystal product c what we know so far is the total mass of the feed that is 6000 kilograms that's equal to ml plus c take note all of these terms here are in kilograms Excuse me. Okay, after the OMB, we can now perform the component balance. And our component balance can either be water or the sodium sulfate because there's no Thai component in this process. So let's just do the salt balance or the sodium sulfate balance. Our sodium sulfate balance will be 0 0.1667 times the feed, 6,000 kilograms. 0.1667 is the mass fraction of salts in the feed. That's equal to, in the mother liquor, the salt mass fraction is 0 0.0826. Multiply that by the mother liquor. Plus, in the crystal side, that's 0 0.4410 times C. As you can see, we, can, uh, we have two equations and two unknowns. We have developed two equations coming from the material balances. And you can solve those two equations simultaneously in order to get our answers. So I'm going to use x as a proxy for ml. And I'm going to use y as a proxy for c. And eventually, you can use your calculator to solve for both ml and c. I'll show you I'll show you that process in this calculator. So it's two equations to unknowns. We can type it as x plus y equals six thousand. And then so that's that that's the that's the first equation. And then the second equation is zero point zero eight two six x plus 0.441y equals 0 0.1667 times 6,000. Those are our two equations. Let's take a look at the results. Uh, these are my values of x and y. So remember that x is the same as ml. Okay, so x is this one. My ml is... 4,592.08. This, this is in kilograms. And then my C, which is the same as Y, is 1,407.92 kilograms. Okay? Those are the masses of your mother liquor and your crystal product. Now, going back to the question we are to determine 
the percent yield of the crystallization crystallization process and earlier i mentioned that this is the formula that we will follow for the percent recovery in the numerator this is the amount recovered in the denominator that was the amounts of the salt that was fed to the process we can now substitute our values here this is 0 0.4410 times the value of c which we obtained earlier is 1407.92 kilograms And we divide this by the amount of sodium sulfate fed, which is 1,000 kilograms. Take note that the unit of kilograms will cancel from the numerator and the denominator. There's no remaining unit for percent recovery. Let's solve that. So I'll input that in the calculator here. This is 0 0.6209, but if you want to make it percent, simply multiply this by 100. So our percent recovery is 62.0 or 62.1 percent. This is our final answer to this problem. Okay, and that's it. We were able to perform the material balance of uh of a of a crystallization process we were able to convert all of the given to mass fractions and we were able to perform uh, both the overall material balance and a component balance from there and then determine the percent recovery of the process that's our final answer that's it for this problem if you have any questions just drop them in the comments below thank you for listening and i'll see you in the next one